everyone please stand. May be seated. Well, friends, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And this is the day that Mallory Nicole Shuklatovich and Nicholas Charles Marzano find themselves here at this altar of marriage to commit themselves to one another for the rest of their lives. On behalf of Mallory and Nick and their families, thank you for being here today. I know many of you have traveled a long, long way to be here. Thank you. Now, Mallory and Nick stand before us after a four-year relationship, and they have an understanding that marriage today, marriage is founded and established in a strong friendship, and they have that for one another. They, had, they know that marriage is rooted in an intense respect and adoration for one another. And they respect and adore one another. And they believe that marriage has as its lifeblood a faithful and abiding love for one another. And it's easy to see that they love one another deeply. The ceremony today is about a love story. A love story about uniting two people one from Northern Illinois and one from Southern Illinois. One that comes from a family that loves the White Sox and one that comes from a family that loves the Cardinals. Now the age old question with every relationship, every love story, it's this, when did you know? When did you know the other one was the one? Was it love at first sight? Was it after that perfect date for Mallory, it was when she was getting her oil changed in Owensboro, Kentucky. I think having a bad day, but on the phone with this guy, and she realized, yep, he's the one for me. And since that moment on, their love has grown and evolved into something beautiful and something lasting. We're really glad that you're here today to bless this really cool couple to affirm their love for one another, to witness this ceremony, and to bless their love story. Will you join me in prayer? God, today we gather to celebrate love, the love that you have for all of humanity found in Jesus Christ. We are thankful, God, that you love us. And God, we also celebrate the love of friends and family that have sacrificed much to be here today. God, we believe friends and family are indeed a good gift from you. But this afternoon, God, we gather to celebrate the love of Mallory and Nick. We're happy that they find themselves here at this altar to commit themselves to each other for the rest of their lives. Bless them and be their friend. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Who presents this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Very good. Now, Mallory and Nick, any time we attend a wedding ceremony, witness um, a marriage ceremony, we're reminded of a lot of things, whether it's in a really cool venue like this, whether it's in a church, whether it's in someone's backyard. It really comes down to the same thing. It's a sacred moment. It's a serious moment. It's a sacred moment because what you guys are doing, well, it's all under the canopy of love, the power of love and the power of God. It's sacred that that the two of you came from different parts of the state, but you found each other, fell in love. It's a sacred time. It's also serious because what you guys will do today will impact each other for the rest 
of your lives. Now, it wouldn't be right for us to have a wedding in Music City without some song lyrics. So, a song by the Eagles. I know that's a little old school for the two of you, but it's right in my, my pipeline for my age. It's a song, Love Will Keep Us Alive, Don't You Worry, Sometimes You've Got to Let It Ride, The World Is Changing Right Before Your Eyes. And that's right where we are today. And then the song continues, I Would Die For You, Climb the highest mountain. Baby, there's nothing I wouldn't do. But I found you, and now there's no more emptiness inside. When we're hungry, love will keep us alive. Now, it wouldn't be right to have a preacher without a passage from the Scripture. 1 Corinthians 13 says, Love is patient, and love is kind. Love does not envy, love does not boast, love is not proud. Love does not dishonor others. Love is not self-seeking. Love is not easily angered. Love keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but love rejoices with the truth. Love always protects. Love always trusts. Love always hopes. Love always perseveres. Love never fails. Now, I could talk all day about the virtues of marriage and love, but you guys don't want to hear me talk any longer than I have to. But I want to give you three words that I hope you will keep all the days of your life. They start with T-L-C. You probably think T-L-C, tender loving care. Well, T is trust. Nick, trust Mallory with your life. Mallory, trust Nick with your life. Trust one another with your heart, with your dreams, with your fears, with your money, with all of your life. Trust one another. L, well, that has to be love. It's not going to be your career success. It's not going to be anything else in your life that will keep you together. It's your love that will keep you together. Trust, love, and see. It's commit. A marriage comes down to this. It's choosing to come home to one another every night. And that's what your friends and your family hope for you both, that you will choose each other, not just on July 8th, but every day of your life. Can I tell you guys a story? For all of you friends who've traveled to Nashville, this is a true story from a couple of counties away. This is in the local paper, The Tennessean, a few years ago. A couple celebrating their 75th wedding anniversary. Can you believe that? 75 years. And their children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren said, you got to throw a party. you got to throw the biggest party we can. But they said, if we're going to throw a party, we've got to clean up your house. They'd lived in one house for 75 years. Had a lot of things to get rid of. And so while they were having a cleaning day with all the family, one of the great-great-grandchildren found a box and brought it to his great-great-grandpa. He had never seen that box before. He lived in that house 75 years, but had never seen that box. He opened it up, and he found three rag dolls. And what he thought was about $20,000 in cash. So he hollered for his wife to come in, and she came in, and she said, that's my box. She closed it and took it to another room. Later, after everyone had left, he said, Honey, what's the deal with that box? And she said, Will you remember our wedding day? And he said, I don't remember much anymore, but I remember our wedding day. She said, When we got married, Granny pulled me aside, and she said, Honey, that boy you just married is going to make you mad, and every time he makes you mad, I want you to sneak off and sew a rag doll together and then come back home. And a tear came to his eye because he thought, 75 years, three rag dolls over that time. And then he asked about the cash. And she said, well, every time I got a dozen, I would take it to the yard sale and sell it for $20. <laughs> now, that was a long story to tell. Nick, you're going to make her mad. Mallory, you're going to make him mad. But each time, just like that couple, always come back. To one another and that's our hope for you both let me ask you your intentions a series of questions 
And if you agree, if you'll simply say, I will. And Nick, we'll start with you. Nick, will you take Mallory to be your wedded wife to live in holy matrimony? Will you listen to her innermost thoughts, be considerate and tender in your care of her? Will you choose to be patient and understanding of her and prefer her above all others as long as you both shall live? I will. And now, Mallory, the same series of questions. Mallory, will you take Nick to be your wedded husband to live in holy matrimony? Will you listen to his innermost thoughts, be considerate and tender in your care of him? And will you choose to be patient and understanding of him and prefer him above all others as long as you both shall live? I will. Very good. Now, Mallory and Nick, no vow or promise that you will ever make or share with anything else or more serious and sacred than these vows that you are about to share with one another. So, Nick, I'm going to ask you to go first, look Mallory in the eye, and repeat after me. I, Nick, take you, Mallory. I, Nick, take you, Mallory. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Very good. Now, Mallory, the same uh, vows. If you look Nick in the eye and repeat after me. <laughs> I'm Mallory, take you, Nick. I'm Mallory, take you, Nick. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Very good. Wedding rings. There's one. There's the other. Now the wedding rings are an outward symbol of the inward commitment that you guys are making today. Wedding rings across every country and every culture Everywhere you go, and I hope you guys travel the world, and in every country and culture you go, everyone will see your ring, and they will know Nick has a love story. Mallory has a love story. They stood in front of someone and made a promise for life. Now, these wedding rings are a perfect circle, unbroken, unending. May your love for each other be perfect, unbroken, unending. Now, we believe that these rings are made of precious metal, valuable metal, strong metal. May your love for each other be precious, valuable, and strong. Nick, take Mallory's ring, gently place it on her ring finger, and repeat after me. Mallory, with this ring, Mallory with this ring. I marry you. I marry you. And commit myself. And commit myself. Completely unto you. Completely unto you. Amen. Amen. Mallory, if you'll take Nick's ring and gently Here place it on his finger and repeat after me. Nick with this ring. Nick with this ring. I marry you. I marry you. And commit myself. And commit myself. Completely unto you. Completely unto you. Amen. Amen. We join me in prayer. God, how holy and sacred is this moment as Mallory and Nick find joy and fulfillment not of getting but of giving themselves to each other. God, we pray that you be their friend, be their constant source of wisdom and strength as they grow together, laugh together, and live together all the days of their lives. Now, God, we pray that you work the miracle that only you can, making the two one for the glory of your Son, Jesus Christ. And we pray this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mallory and Nick, may the Lord bless you both. May the Lord's face shine upon you all the days of your life. May the Lord be gracious and give you peace. God bless you both. Mallory and Nick, you've promised to love one another forever. You've done that in front of God, your family, and friends. You've shared vows and exchanged rings. 
As a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I pronounce that from this moment on, you shall be known as husband and wife in what God has brought together, but no one separate. Nick, Nicholas Charles, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Friends, my privilege and pleasure to present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Marzano.